welcome back to our vlog and channels. We are headed off to camp, very first camp ever in my life. I've no idea about Belle, but um, oh, I'm so excited. Uh, so I think we'll probably do day one and then day two. I can't imagine why not, unless I don't get footage, I don't know. I'm going on my own, so I'm not sure how videoing things will work but I'll try my best to get as much as possible I'll find it so helpful to be looking back on it with all the tuition and everything as well so fingers crossed can get a load of footage but I now have to get on with as you can see the background is quite vile at the moment because that is Belle's bed so I need to get on with the normal jobs before starting the mammoth packing tasks so yeah lots to do and I'm just procrastinating and doing nothing at the minute so yeah Okay, one horse mucked out, check. One ever increasing mountain of stuff that I need to sort out, check. I know! <laughs> There's at least 12. I don't know how Belle can even see the amount of mud that she's got on that mask. But in theory, done its job a bit and helped me not have all that mud on her face but can you actually see bells <laughs> oh my god I mean this mask is hilarious anyway <laughs> I'm sure you can't see anything you look pretty disgusting as well don't you you're only white on your face and you're just bad everywhere so I oh, want your towel pads come out great we've got some work to do haven't we bells get you camp ready Go. I'm about to get towed probably by these two. Alright, we've done quite a few of these befores and then I always forget to do the after, so this before, rug and all, Flymast did do a wonderful job. And now, it's a lot better, don't you, girl? A lot, lot better. Tiny little legs as good as I can get. And I've got to do your forelock because that's still covered, isn't it? Yes. Good morning everyone. Sorry for yesterday being a bit crazy rushed but loads to get done. Here is the gorgeous girl. Hello. Uh, yeah so still um, this is the morning of camp day one by the way. Um, just need to give Belle a little flick over with a brush. You're looking good I think. I don't think there's stable stains fingers crossed. Have a look. No, thank God. I mean, I haven't looked at the other side, so maybe that's where it all goes wrong. But yeah, um, put the last few bits in the lorry and then get going. It's going to be a bit of a manic one right now, so we won't be on here much. But yeah, hopefully we'll get back to you once. Um, well, once we've had the first lesson, probably. So yeah, let's get going, eh, girls? All right, box is all ready to go. Get the horse box. make this into a bed for tonight um, probably gonna start some now and then do the rest after lunch because I've got an hour before then our training or after that yeah it's probably gonna be in bits I think but um, yeah sweep it out a little bit now um, 
first lesson was really good um it was a flat work one got bell working really nicely um sadly not gonna have any footage of that as uh, no one there to film um i don't know if i'm gonna get any of the arena eventing either i'm gonna wear a gopro though so i'll have that at least but um yeah really really pleased with her um she was quite you know um full of it it's so so windy and um but she really settled nicely worked in really nicely so yeah can't play at all she seems to have settled really well in her stable um now with yeah lunch so i get to go play lemon and uh see if anyone will be my friend <laughs> and then uh yeah it'll be the next session and then evening activities so anyway i need to get on try and sort this out it's not too bad she hasn't made it too dirty so fingers crossed it'll be all right Um, force myself on people, <laughs> so yeah, that's nice. They're probably now stuff for me for the weekend, um, whether they like it or not. Um, but one of the ladies is in my group, and another lady I know uh, from well, from the yard really. Um, well, not the yard, but previously at the yard. Anyway, I'm just having a wander. There's a couple of hours until I ride in again, so just thought I'd have a look around and look at the uh, arena eventing. So I'll pan round, we'll have a little nose um, in a second, but yeah, just a bit more on the flat work. Sadly, as I said, there's no footage, so sorry about that, but um, it was great. Um, we're just actually working on stuff that I do work on at home, so it's quite nice that I'm working on the right things because that's what was suggested. Um, so just, yeah, circling, sort of really spiraling, spiraling in and then pushing her back out leg yielding out onto the track um did try a little bit of um shoulder in apparently we had a couple of strides of half pass which gas um wish that had been on camera because uh i don't believe it but anyway um yeah no so it just works really well on getting her to actually then soften over her body um doing the lateral work so that's what i asked to work on and um yeah no it's really really pleased she worked really nice that's tough for her it was an hour as well so asking her to work that hard for an hour she doesn't have to do very often uh, that sort of thing so yeah really really pleased with her um she was very stiff on her left rein i would say but otherwise she was great considering it is blowing an actual gale at the moment although well, it's calmed down for a second uh she kept her herself together really well so i'm gonna flip you around because this is my view so just looking at the other arena eventing field now, this definitely looks like the smaller stuff. So I, I imagine this is where I will be in. I don't know if you go into both or what really, but um, yeah, it looks nice. Uh, this looks less intimidating for sure. I mean, some obviously look huge like that massive table there, but um, that is uh, not me. So yeah, the steps, haven't done them here before, so it'd be cool if we are giving them a go. The massive water over there, I don't know if you can really see. Um, there are some huge jumps over there as well. Oh my god, I just cannot imagine I'm ever going to be that person that is, is doing jumps that big. Uh, I mean, you never know, I, never, I thought I was never going to do 80, and here we are. So, yeah, looking forward to this. I'm going to have the GoPro on, as I said before, so even if I get no footage otherwise see a bit of what's going on with that so yeah it's a shame no one's here to sort of film this bit but um yeah is what it is then we've got a show jumping arena these are definitely not my height but um yeah we will be down here tomorrow There she is. No, 
not looking at me. Right, arena cross country ready. Look at her. Her mane blowing in the wind. A lot more matchy matchy than I intended, but uh, yeah, oh well. I've got the GoPros, hopefully that's all fine to use. And uh, yeah, wish us luck. Yeah, probably. Okay, yeah. I will try it first. Yeah, that's right. Good girl. She might look up and look at that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Come on, we're not that ditchy, really. Like a little hole in the ground. Good girl. Walk over it. Go on. Go on. No. Come on. Come on. Really not that bad. Come on. Good girl. Yay! Good well girl. done! Good girl. I need to regroup. <laughs>
Good girl. That was a terrible line by me. <laughs> I've done anything like that before, so. <laughs>
Day. finished our arena venting it's very good we had a couple of run outs i guess you would have seen them by now uh with the head cam hopefully that's worked as i haven't actually tried to have a look at it yet but um yeah but i'm really really pleased with her um we did a first jump into water i've never done that i've never really done steps very much either so really pleased with her such a good girl aren't you so that's day one complete around two minutes there's my uh, chariot big pink one um actually in the box was comfy uh, let me turn this around yeah apologies for the view because look at these at bags for life i'm so tired i'm gonna do a really attractive um upward view double chin view because there's people around and i don't want to look like complete psychopath, one on my own and two come to myself uh, but yeah, no, the actual bed and stuff that I managed to set up in the box was comfy, it didn't help I forgot a pillow, not gonna lie um, it was a bit chilly but I put my coat over the top of my sleeping bag and it was all good so I just uh, say hello to someone um, yeah, but the rain was mental last night um, and I feel like I just get kept waking up every two minutes um, with it, start hammering it down, then it'll calm down a bit, then hammer it down. Um, as you can tell, it's currently raining. So today's gonna be a soggy one, which is a shame, but what can you do? It could be worse. It's sort of spitting at the moment. Um, yeah, it is a big shame though, because I had a friend coming uh, who was gonna like take some video and photo, and I just feel really bad making us stand out in the rain um also like it's just not gonna be as good are they but i don't know it has these stuff quite a bit so i might message her hopefully just for the show jumping or something um but yeah right so i cut myself off there just um gone and stuffed myself for breakfast <laughs> actually a bit sick now so um probably was a bit too much but it was lovely <laughs> um 
yeah so rain is still raining uh god i am so tired looking at something there's no good angle here so yeah sorry about that um <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna pack up uh, my little bed i think now and then get bell ready and then we'll be heading down for our first uh lesson which will be flat work with poles i'm gonna try and position my gopro on the edge and just see at least i'll get something uh, otherwise it'll be another sesh with no footage but yeah hopefully i should be able to get something at least if i can perch it somewhere i should have bought my pivo because it's um it's a good little sort of stand for my phone but i didn't so we just adapt um yeah i'm gonna put the phone away now because it's raining and gross but uh yeah see you in a bit sorry this is not as a uh, footagey as i would have liked um this is definitely just gonna be one vlog now because yeah there's no there's barely any riding and i really apologize for that i wish i had more but when you come on your own it's just super tricky well near off impossible to get anyone to film um no one had people with them in my flat work so it's not like i could have asked someone on the ground there uh same for marina venting as i've got well i managed to get a couple of clips when i picked up the courage to just ask um someone that was teaching but yeah so i do apologize i wish i had more probably gonna have my full show jumping training now at least so that's something but at least you get a bit of an idea of what camp's like oh last night was really fun we had dinner it was really nice uh, and then we did a quiz and some games and had music and everyone was having a drink and stuff so yeah that was really nice um but yeah no all in all it's good it's good but anyway i've got loads of stuff to do so i'll go So I thought I might voice over this, some of this pole work stuff as you can't really hear what our instructor is saying. But as you can see, Belle is very upright and tense. Um, this unfortunately does not improve for the session. So don't expect to see anything good. It's <laughs> I feel like such a fraud saying that Belle went really nicely in the flat work and then the only bit of flat work you can see is this which just really doesn't show how she was the other day but this is Belle, she is a llama and yeah unfortunately this is what she's like a lot of the time so that flat work session the other day was more the exception than the rule but we are trying our best so she was obedient you know she was doing what i asked when i asked pretty much um i think here i forgot where i was supposed to be going and this was still a good session it was really good to use a pole work layout like this there is no way i would set this up at home don't have the space or this amount of poles so definitely great in that aspect to try something new and there are bits of it that I could definitely take away and just use little bits at home and stuff or one part of it one time one part another time but it was good for us I think in later clips we do some transitions through the poles that's particularly good for Belle she can be a bit rushy whenever she finds anything difficult her answer is to rush um but she was fairly straight through everything. I mean, not that first centre line, obviously. Um, but yeah, later on, we did have a lovely halt at some point, I think at the end, so that was nice. Um, so, you know, you've got to take the wins where you can. I think we're going to have it now, actually. Oh, yeah, look at that. Lovely. <laughs> but otherwise, as you can see, we just work through it. We start doing it as a group as well, different parts of it different bits where we as i said add transitions in and things like that and yeah it was good we got out of it what we could as i said bell could have been a lot more supple usually pole work does help her supple over her back but she just wasn't feeling it this morning um she isn't a big fan of the rain um I don't know, I'm making excuses for her, I'm not really sure. She just wasn't into it. I think she just had, to be honest, I do think she'd had a bit of a bad night's sleep like I had and um, was probably a bit tired and grouchy and just not feeling herself. So, 
what can you say? We all have those days, myself included. But I'll leave you to watch the rest. I know this isn't the most thrilling footage to watch, but I just felt like I wanted to keep it in as there is quite little of me riding really during this camp, considering the riding I did. So yeah, I hope you appreciate that part if uh, if nothing else. And maybe it'll make you feel better about your own dressage when you see um, the camel that I'm on. <laughs> eat her breakfast really this morning so but she's had a bit more of that now which is good but you're very good in the poles weren't you a bit excited because we we're next to the show jumping but yeah still very good all things considered um she's a bit tucked up so we're just going to try and take it easy in the show jumping um i don't want to wind her up too much and i also just want to end on a good note because it's been a really nice weekend so far so i don't want to push it and anything silly happen so and you are my number one priority so i don't want you coming away feeling pants but it was a really windy rainy night obviously I said I had a rough night's sleep so she probably did as well but there was loads of poos and she's drunk and all that stuff so I think we're okay aren't we bell bells right it's quite pretty
tea really. You've seen our little deer. That's where we had that work. And then bounces all the way up the top. Right, show jumping for our last session. We have the wall of doom again. I am either gonna ask for that to be out the side and bring it in and work through it like that or we're not doing it today because I'm to be honest not really in the mood and I just want to end on a really good note so I don't I know that obviously I'll probably feel a lot of accomplishment doing it but I'll only do it sort of on my terms there is also a water tray over there you can't see it really from this angle but again I probably won't attempt that um Belt is quite tucked up so I'm really um, just conscious of her, I don't want to wind her up too much and I just really really want to finish on a good note so I'll hopefully just string a load of fences together, have a practice of, of a course and stuff but um, yeah that's probably my aim today. As I said, all I do, if we can have it out and work through it fine but yeah I'm not just going to go straight in, although it does look a bit smaller than than we did but that's me from up here I'll probably look myself when I'm done That didn't help. I didn't see that at all. <laughs> Just pony ever. Yeah. This girl has been incredible for the weekend, so just got to drop her back and then we are all done with this camp. Hello. 
Hello everyone. Um, I realise I didn't do an outro for our Hinksy camp and this is now, I don't even know how far in the future it is compared to when we went so I do apologise. I will try and sum it up in the same way that I would have before. Obviously here's Miss Bell Bells. Um, but yeah overall we just had an amazing time. Um, yeah, the end was super rushed, which is why I didn't do an outro. And actually, I did do one, and then I realised I think I deleted it. And um, uh, yeah, so that was stupid of me. Um, but yeah, on the way out, we were just rushing to get Belle home. I say we; it was just me. And then I managed to get the lorry stuck, oh, and no one was left. And uh, yeah, that was a bit hairy. Basically, I went to go out the way we came in and I was so unlucky that I literally met the only other horse box that was coming in at the same time. So I was like, oh my God, maybe I can't go out the way I came in. So then I went out the way that I've been, that we've left when we were there for the Sunshine Tour. Got all the way to the end of the sort of um, makeshift gravel that's on the field. And then there was a concrete block on the gate so then try to trying to turn around a horse box without going into the field so then i'm reversing back and just basically got it stuck um so i found some random teenagers on the yard to help me out and uh yeah they were fab bless them there was four of them trying to push this box got bell off um she was great and then yeah we managed to get moving but what a uh what a fun end to the to the weekend but we were all right, but it was very good. And um, we got home and yeah, it was amazing. I'm really sorry that we didn't have any footage of the flat work. I'm gutted personally, just genuinely felt like probably the best we've gone in flat work as well, definitely in lessons. So it's a real shame for me not to be able to look at that back uh, and see that, but it is what it is. Um, it was still a really good session. Uh, you would have seen the uh, arena eventing, obviously had a, Good amount of videos with that with the GoPro had a really good time definitely kept it in our comfort zone um the whole weekend looking back I did have a bit of a sort of slight confidence crisis I do think when I'm with people I don't know I tend to go a little bit less confident um so yeah as I said kept it all in our comfort zone still did things I haven't done before like the jump into water and um, which Belle just flew in um Oh, I could not get that line after the blooming jump though. I kept going to the right of the jump that was in the water and that was just messing it up a couple of times. I think Belle could have maybe helped me out, but yeah, she's like, no, if you're not gonna get it bang on, then no, you gotta do it again. <laughs> so yeah, we got it uh, sort of at the end. And um, yeah, she had a bit of a, um, a dislike at the ditch. But other than that, really, really good. As I said, didn't really go wild or push it height-wise or anything like that, but just had a really nice time. And then had a really fun evening. You're just seeing a tiny bit of the dancing, but yeah, it was really good fun. They had um, entertainment and dancing and the food was lovely. So that was great. And then the next day we just had our flat work with poles. Belle was very tense with that. Um, and as I said, I was a bit worried about her, um, how she was feeling, so didn't really harass her too much with anything but yeah she was obedient she was just tense um normally pole work gets her relaxing over but she just wasn't into that which is fine um but it's good to try out pole work that i just wouldn't be able to do at home she wouldn't have the space or the amount of poles and then the show jumping yeah which was again really good similar sort of vibe with the arena renting didn't push bits that i probably could have looking back i'm a little bit like oh i wish i'd sort of maybe done this and that the only thing was a couple people did like a bit higher at the end and i think we definitely could have done that but at the time i really just again wasn't at my fullest confidence and just really wanted to finish the weekend off on a really good note and i didn't want to push it in the sense that something happened and i fell a lot fall off and sort of taint it or you know as i said just didn't want to stress her out too much so but yeah we had a really good session i mean it was good height and stuff it's still 80 so um i need to um give myself props that that doesn't scare me so much anymore which is great uh just a run out um at the second fence uh she was looking at some fillers that were lying on the floor and i just wasn't i didn't close the door on the right hand side enough so just had that happen once other than that i think that was it um we did the wall of death um not the wall of death is in running around but 
going over the wall. Uh, it was out at the side, but she didn't look at it. She went over and um, we didn't bring it in in the end, actually, like for anyone. Um, so, but yeah, it's fine. It's something to still carry on working with when we can, but no, it's really, really good. Um, anyone thinking about doing a camp, I would 100% recommend. It was great. Obviously, I did go on my own and felt fine. I, you know, a little bit like, oh, work for the evening thing, but I'd already spoken to some people had people in my group and they were all lovely and everyone was just really happy and nice and happy to sort of let me sit with them and all that sort of thing so yeah it was a really nice time um and yeah I'd definitely look at doing one again um so yeah amazing really really fun um can't rec recommend it enough Hickstead obviously incredible venue yeah and it was a really good sort of start to the summer I'd say um season although saying that with all the rain we've had everything's just not happening really um don't have anything planned as yet i really want to do a one day event at least one this summer or this season um at 80. um i've been toying with the f i do feel pretty ready for it i mean dressage i know we will just well, that'll be what it is we won't um be particularly great at that but um it's just been more the my confidence with the jumping side of it but i i think i feel like we're there we've had the arena eventing which was all at 80 in the winter obviously that's cross country jumps show jumps i feel like hey at 80 definitely now so i think we could go out and give it a good good little crack and have a nice day of it which is the main thing so yeah i definitely want to try and tick that off my bucket list uh this summer at some point and yeah we'll just be out and about training and all those sorts of things so as much as i can i'll try and bring you guys along but thank you so much for watching it's one probably one of my longer vlogs but i hope even though there wasn't as much footage as i would have liked um you still enjoyed it uh apologies for the show jump footage that was on my mum's potato of a phone so i wish i'd <laughs> i should have given her mine but anyway i'm gonna chuck in a few of the pictures i don't know if i'm gonna put them after i'm talking now or probably will so yeah, you'll see some photos that my friend took, which are really gorgeous. I'm not going to put them all in because there's loads, but um, yeah, great time. So thank you so much for watching. Please uh, put a comment if you've got any questions about camps. Um, I'm ha so happy to answer them. So just pop them in the comments, uh, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.